But what happened, oh, oh, what happened was single Thomas, I'm cool with my job and then I get to hang out with Rebecca. I'm relationship Thomas. Wake up single Thomas. Why would I go to the gym? Why would I work in my business? Why would I do all this awesome other stuff? Why would I hang out with my friends constantly anymore when I am relationship Thomas and I get to be with Rebecca and do whatever I want with Rebecca. And then what happens, So do you remember your first crush? Remember that first time that you just had feels for a girl? You had the little butterflies and it was so amazing and adorable whenever she would text you and everything was just kind of a little brighter and life was golden and beautiful. You remember that feeling when you were younger? Well, as you get older, that feeling just goes away with each relationship and everything just kind of becomes more and more mundane until you do find somebody that you really, really vibe with. It becomes more difficult over time to find that person because like, Life gets complicated as you get older. And then when you find that person and you fall in love with them and you feel like you're in high school again, the butterflies are back, your dick's just getting hard and in a matter of seconds, it's no problem, the sex is hot, everything's exciting in these relationships. And then, well, the worst thing happens. The vacation ends. It's like the vacation's over. We were at Disneyland. We just rode Splash Mountain. It's a small world. Everything's great. And now we're in line at TSA again to leave the vacation. This sucks. I had a buddy of mine yesterday talking to me essentially about how his relationship is falling apart. And what I told him is I said, listen, bro, I could give you the best advice in the world right now on the phone, or I could actually put it in an Evolution Daily video. You'll kind of get some clout off of that, right? Like some internal clout anyways, because no one's going to know his name. But I said, you can just watch the video afterwards. And this gives me great content. And he says, yes, please help me save my relationship. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and help my good friend save his relationship. And any of you watching this video right now, if you're in a relationship that's failing, I'm gonna save your fucking relationship if it should be saved, okay? Some relationships, they shouldn't be fucking saved. Sometimes your relationship is dying because you guys aren't meant to be together. But if you wanna hold on, if you wanna hold on to that tight little fucking thread that's just barely holding it all together, what I'm gonna help you do now is fortify it. So let's get to the number one reason why basically any any relationship is failing when you still love each other, okay? And that's an important differentiation because if you don't love each other anymore, if it's just like so far out there where you're just like, I fucking hate this person, they don't like me, I don't agree with their decisions, their, their thought patterns, what they do with their life, who they are as people, you guys fall out of love, right? But when you love somebody and they don't want to be with you anymore, it's devastating. It's fucking devastating. It's the worst. I still remember when Emily broke up with me. It was brutal. I was hung over a fucking wine and she sat me down in her living room. And said, Aaron, we need to talk about last night. I just don't think that but, 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 but. it ruined me. It fucking ruined me. I went drinking and driving all around the city. It was brutal. It was rough. I want to save you guys from that pain because it's real pain. So here's the deal. When your relationship is falling apart and you're still in love, you still like this person and they still like you, but just things aren't the way they used to be. It's because you are running low. You are depleted. Your tank is on E when it comes to your masculine life energy. You're not holding on to your MLE the way that you want were. So what do I mean by this? The absolute nature, the universal nature of feminine and masculine energy. Masculine energy is meant to lead. Masculine energy takes the form of Vikings. Watch the show Vikings on History Channel and see the way that Ragnar Lothbrok and Rolo, how they fucking plow through and just destroy everything and kill everything and they lead and they save and they protect. And feminine energy is there to follow the masculine. Feminine energy is more fluid and what it's going to do and what it wants to be and it's looking to cling onto masculine energy. So when you got into your relationship, you were single. Okay, let's say your name is Thomas. What's up, Thomas? Somebody named Thomas is watching this right now and they're like, fuck yeah, that's me. What's up, Thomas? When you met Rebecca, when you, when Thomas and Rebecca came together, you were single Thomas. And what did single Thomas do? Single Thomas was either subconsciously or oftentimes as men very consciously driven by his biological need and want for sex. And so single Thomas hit the gym all the time. You were interested in cool shit. You hung out with the boys, you went out partying, you had a lot of energy, you had a lust for life, you were career oriented, working on some business, you had it all together. Single Thomas was the fucking man. Wake up, Single Thomas. But what happened? Whew. 
Oh. What happened was single Thomas, he underestimated that biological drive to get laid. He didn't realize how much it fueled him. And so what happened to you, single Thomas, is you became relationship Thomas. And the problem is that relationship Thomas, he has sex whenever he wants it. And at first it's cool for a while, right? It's like, yeah, Rebecca and me, we just fuck all the time, dude, let's go. And then what happens is now your brain and your body and your being and your masculinity, it knows like, oh, we don't have to work to get sex anymore. So relationship Thomas doesn't go to the gym as much anymore. Relationship Thomas, you know, he loves just eating with Rebecca. It's so fun. When you're in a new relationship, going out for dinner, trying new places, trying new breweries, it's all so much fun. And relationship Thomas, he doesn't really use my fitness pal so much anymore. Relationship Thomas, he just kind of eats whatever and enjoys himself because he's got a girl. And he doesn't think it, but he lives it. And then over time, relationship Thomas, he's just so happy with Rebecca. Everything is just so amazing with Rebecca. But you know what? I just, I want to spend all my extra time with her. I don't want to work on my business. I'm cool with my job and then I get to hang out with Rebecca. I'm relationship Thomas. Why would I go to the gym? Why would I work on my business? Why would I do all this awesome other stuff? Why would I hang out with my friends constantly anymore when I am relationship Thomas and I get to be with Rebecca and do whatever I want with Rebecca? And then what happens is over time, Rebecca becomes number one. And women will tell you, day in and day out, they'll tell you, I want to be your number one, baby. I don't want to just be your lover. I want to be your very best friend. I want to be your everything, sweetheart. She doesn't want to be number one. She wants to be number two and always striving to be number one. You know why? Because women, maybe even more than men, are addicted to the game. It's kind of not so fun for most human beings. Now, we're all wired a bit differently, but it's almost not even fun for most human beings to ever even get the thing. Gary Vaynerchuk, one of my greatest mentors in this life, he's always talking about how he's gonna buy the New York Jets. He's opened up a few times and said, there's a part of me that doesn't even want to because he just knows that he loves the journey of it. And so when women, feel as though they've got their man locked down. It's game over. I've got him. I've caged single Thomas and turned him into relationship Thomas. Well, then what happens? It's all the same. It's all the same. Relationship Rebecca and relationship Thomas, they do the same things. She doesn't go to the gym as much. She doesn't wear makeup as much. She doesn't wear the same clothes that she used to wear. She doesn't have her own thing going on as much anymore because she wants to be with a relationship Thomas all the time. And so now you guys are on this downward ladder where you're kind of like going back and forth. It's like a ping pong ball. Just do, 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 do. Just slowly down, you're both losing attraction for one another. She's getting a little chubby, you're getting a little chubby, and it's kind of not there anymore. She doesn't have the same flame she had. You guys kind of just start hanging out a little too much. It's losing its novelty over time. Eventually, you guys just don't even want to be together anymore. And so how do you save a relationship when it has fallen this same script that most relationships end up following? Well, what you do is you reclaim your masculine life energy, and you worry about single Thomas again. Go from relationship Thomas to now living the life that single Thomas led. Now, whatever your views on monogamy, you do you when it comes to like, all right, I'm gonna be with this one chick and I'm, I'm all about that and whatever. We're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is the fact that you have to stay hoe ready. Do you know what it means to say hoe ready? What it means to say hoe ready is that you gotta be ready for a fucking any instant that Rebecca comes home and she goes, hey, remember Travis, my manager from Chipotle? I'm fucking him now, we're over. And when she's fucking Travis from Chipotle, well then guess what? You gotta be ready to go meet some other hoes. That means staying in shape. That means on your grind, always ascending, always fucking flowing, masculine life energy is just exuding from you at all times. And what happens is when you focus on your masculinity as a man, your purpose as a man, you stay strong, you stay mentally, emotionally, and physically fit, then what happens is when single Thomas had attracted Rebecca, but then he reverted down, he devolved, right? You went from Charizard all the way down to Charmander, and now she's lost interest. She didn't start dating relationship Thomas. Now when you go back up to Charizard, you become single Thomas again. Again, she's gonna start noticing. She's gonna start noticing that the waitress, she's gonna start noticing that the waitress at Buca de Peppo just looks at you a little different. She gets a little flirtatious, kind of a little too giggly, maybe even touches your arm a little bit. And all of a sudden, relationship Rebecca is kind of like, oh, oh, Thomas is still very desirable and in great shape and he's winning. And if I don't do those same things, then he's gonna wanna leave me. And what happens is by you finding your masculinity, then your girl finds her femininity. Be strong, masculine life energy. Harness it, hone it, inject it into your fucking veins. That's how you save your relationship. Oh,